Hey, how's it going everybody? So today I'd like to talk about Shinobi. Now I'm not talking about the old Sega Master System game. I'm talking about an open source CCTV solution. I've been using Shinobi for a while now. In the past I tried solutions like um, ZoneMinder and I didn't like ZoneMinder so what I ended up doing was I set up a shell script and some Chrome jobs and just used that for my CCTV solution. But when I discovered Shinobi I'm like wow I don't have to use those Chrome jobs and the shell scripts anymore. So Shinobi has a very nice user interface. So we can see we can click in our cameras here and they can be arranged, organized, resized. Um, these are all working over wireless so there is actually a bit of a delay as you see the camera behind me if I put my hand up and then put my hand down um, and wait. There we go. And that's because that particular camera behind me is also using Motion JPEG and the other cameras are using um, MP4. Now Shinobi has motion detection, it has object detection using TensorFlow. Now if you don't want to run TensorFlow on your actual hardware, because um, it uses too much resources, you can run TensorFlow Lite on something like a Raspberry Pi and do object detection that way. Now for the motion detection it does have region detection so that like if there's an area that has high amounts of movement um, and you don't want movement to be detected in that region you can do something like this. So I only want to detect motion in this area. I don't want like birds and stuff to set it off and it's highly configurable like you can say the amount of movement it has to detect and so on and so forth. Now I thought of an interesting thing to use the object detection for. Now if I can get the object detection to detect the difference between my neighbor's cats and my cats, because we got a problem with neighbor cats eating my cat's food, and I can detect the neighbor cats, then maybe I can trigger an alarm that'll scare the neighbor cats away, like a dog barking or something. I thought that might be a cool experiment. I haven't played with object detection yet. That's something I really want to have a play with. Now, I don't usually use Chrome. I'm, I use Firefox. But the problem is this does not run very well in Firefox at all. It runs extremely slow in Firefox. So I have to use Chrome to use this. Now, Shinobi does have scheduling. So you, you set up monitor states, which change variables of your individual cameras at set times. But I found the scheduling in Shinobi is not consistent or reliable. So I set up monitor states and then I just set up a Chrome job somewhere that will use the Shinobi API, which we can find uh, on the Shinobi documentation. And in the documentation, you will find a way to activate a monitor state. So I do it this way instead of using the scheduling built into Shinobi, which isn't reliable. So as we see here, here's my Chrome jobs on Open Media Vault, which is where I have Shinobi installed from a Docker container. So Shinobi has OnVIF support, it has RTSP, and it even supports mo things like Motion JPEG, which is the camera behind me is Motion JPEG. Now I'm not using any like really high-end fancy PoE cameras, I'm just using cheap consumer grade cameras which if you use those you should always block them from having internet access. Now what I do is I give them access to port 123 so they display the correct time but I drop packets to everything else because the thing with those cheap consumer grade cameras is they quite often connect to some nasty cloud server somewhere and you don't want that. But you do want to make sure they have at least RTSP support. If they've got OnVIF support, that's awesome too. And another thing to bear in mind with those cameras is they quite often do not have a public API. So 
you will not be able to do things like use the pan, tilt, and zoom without reverse engineering the API using something like Wireshark. Now, two of my cameras are Tapo cameras, which someone has figured out how to reverse engineer the API. So I was able to use that to make the simple flask app, which will enable basic pan, tilt, and zoom functionalities on Shinobi. But um, I still need to work on it because it uh, doesn't always work. See, I hit right, and then eventually it turns right, but sometimes it doesn't. So I need to tinker with it a bit more to get that to work properly. One of the first things you might want to do when you install Shinobi is to increase the disk capacity. By default, I think it was set to 10 gigabytes. And I was trying to figure out why is it only saving the last three videos? It's useless. And I'm like, oh, I have to increase the disk capacity Shinobi's allowed to use. Because I've got a whole partition just for Shinobi. And I'm like, that's all for Shinobi. <laughs> so we can um, view our recordings in list view, or we can view them in grid view, like so. And viewing videos is quite easy. And of course, to save disk space, you can set it to only record when it detects motion. Um, I've just set mine to record all the time. Um, on a schedule, of course, like uh, some of my cameras don't have night vision. So if, if that's the case, then I don't record at night because there's no point. Shinobi supports various ways of storing your videos, such as Google Drive, WebDev, Amazon S3, even Google Drive and FTP. So that's great for having it off-site if you want it off-site. So that was just a quick preview of Shinobi, and I think it's a great open source CCTV solution. Still has a few bugs to work out in it, I think, like making it work reliably in Firefox and making the scheduling work reliably without having to resort to using a Chrome job which uses the API. But, um, you know, these things will get worked out over time. And in the future, I'd love to have a play with the object detection. So maybe in the future, I'll do a video about object detection using the TensorFlow. And I want to get it to work on a Raspberry Pi, so it'll offload that workload somewhere else. I don't want that running on my server using, um, using up valuable resources. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. See you later.